What's your name? My name is Sam. Sam and? Uh, Elijah. Elijah. Okay. Bible name. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what Elijah means? Uh, I'm not sure if I do, actually. Yeah. I, don't, I can't really remember. Jehovah is God. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, because yeah. I am a, I come from a Christian family. So. I come from a Christian yeah. family. Yeah. Okay. Nice uh, name. My son's name is Elijah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, guys, a uh, big question. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? I, I think uh, you get one go around and then that's it. You die. That's literally it. Okay. So you might as well make the most of it because life is meaningless. All right. So that's it. You just, yeah. That's one it. life, that's it. Live one it. life, that's it. Live it. Okay. And? Um, well, for me, uh, well, when my, um, uh, for a long time I stopped believing. Okay. Um, until um, my granddad passed away. Uh, and um, I think it took me a while to kind of get back into it, but I started to believe that he needed to be somewhere better. Um, and that he, yeah, it's, okay. he shouldn't so, be just on his own. Like, I feel like he's in somewhere better, like a heaven or whatever, because I feel like that's better for me to believe. Okay. So, ooh, maybe I'll start with the Christian. Yeah. 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 yeah? Uh, yeah. So when you say I believe, uh, what, what is the Christian in your own world? Well, I mean, for me, it's. I think it's all about. I don't know. It's about believing something. You don't necessarily need to follow every single thing. It's about following what you want to follow. I think it's about your own. Like what? Your own personal relationship with God, like. For me, um, mm -hmm. I'd say that my relationship with God is quite strong in that I like to believe no matter what I do, he's always there and he's protecting everyone in my life and everyone around me. And even when they die, he's still there protecting them. He's still there with them and yeah, yeah. All, all of that. So, so a Christian is someone who... Someone who just fully believes and devotes their life to, to Jesus and Jesus and God really. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a big question. And uh hello. You right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And what's your name? Lexi. Nancy. Lexi. 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 Okay. Nice to meet you. How are you? Uh, so you can join us. Uh, I'm asking uh, a deep question here. Yeah. I'm saying uh, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? So here I've got a Christian and yourself you are Still not religious. Okay. Uh, what do you think happens when we die? I don't know. Okay. Mm. I just put you on the spot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Funny. So, yeah. uh, if you have any question, uh, maybe you can ask me later. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yourself, unbeliever. You leave it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like I'd like to think there is a God, but realistically, like. I don't know, there hasn't been proof. There, there could be proof, like ghosts or something, but I just, I don't know. Okay, don't so think. if you yourself have not done any homework, yeah. any research, uh, yeah. you can't say there is no proof. Yeah. Because others believe, because they must have gathered some information and they have some proof. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for you, you die, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Make the most of life in it. Okay, so if I bring a Bible, yeah, and I bring you information, yeah, uh, would you consider it? Yeah, I, I consider reading it. I don't know if I believe it, but I consider reading it. Like, okay, and uh, maybe like a movie or something. Like that. All right. So <laughs> if someone would bring an account of Queen Elizabeth, yeah, the one she the, the that just passed away, yeah, big news. And yeah, so if uh, someone presents information about her right. fifty years from now. Yeah. And you read that account uh, of your life, the things that you need to do, blah, 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 blah. Uh, would you believe that yeah. account is true? You yeah. believe it? Because you witnessed your life. Yeah. So for you, seeing is believing. Yeah. If yeah. you have not seen it. I have to see something to believe it. Man. You have to see something. Okay. So for, for that information about the queen, you believe because you have seen it. Yeah. Okay. Now, when it comes to the faith, about the news of Jesus, yeah, because you didn't see him die for you, no, nah. you will not believe it. I won't believe it because I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you've got is your friend? 
Yeah. So let's say she's got a car. Yeah, then you've got a car. She's yeah. got a car, yeah. So uh, you visit her yeah. and you borrow her car. Yeah. But the brakes are not working. Yeah. And she gives you the car, uh, then you go and do crash. Yeah. Uh, would you say Simple she's a good friend? Uh, and it was when she turns up at the hospital, she say, "Ah, you know what? Those brakes were not working. I knew something <laughs> was going to happen, but I love you so much that I couldn't tell you <laughs> that something's gonna something bad is gonna happen." Would you say she's a good friend? No, no, no. You never say you say no. Okay. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to put my friend here on the spot. All right. Because he's a Christian. <laughs> he is a Christian. He knows that there is heaven, there is hell. Yeah. But he's quiet about it. Yeah. If you die, both of you on the same day. I'm sure you'll be on two different lines where you might be on the one that is going to where people have been barbecued. Yeah, hell. Right, pretty. Yes. <laughs> and he's on this one and you, you can see some roses and some angels saying, hey, welcome home. And you'll be like, hey, dude, Elijah, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I used to play with you. Why did you tell me that there's a place like this? And he's like, you know what? I used to, I love you so much that I couldn't tell you the truth. <laughs> is it making sense? I make sense. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense, yeah. Yeah. So, are you a good friend? Because you want to enter heaven on your own. You are a good mate. You you are are a good I'd, mate. I'd say I'm a good friend. I'd you say I'm a good friend. But you um, want to enter heaven on your own because you have not shared with him. You have not done enough for, to push this guy to read the Bible. You know something. You know your grandpa passed yeah. on and he went to a nice place. Yeah. So, you don't want him to join us? Because me, I'm a Christian. So, I'll mm. see you if, if you are one. Yeah. But these two. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess yeah, we need to pray for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because we need them in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, how, how does one qualify to enter heaven? Let's ask the Christian. Okay. Since um, you're a Christian, okay, it, they think, also want to go to. You want to go to heaven. You want to. Well, I mean, if it's real, yeah. I, I, I yeah. Okay. Heaven, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll see if it's real. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, so they want to enter heaven. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, uh, they, they let's just say they caught the coronavirus. Oh yeah. And the yeah. doctor is saying, looks like this two. We have got five minutes to live. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they are saying, hey, dude. We also want to join you in that nice place. Yeah, what yeah. must we do? Because to be fair, like, uh -huh. if I'm in a horrible situation, I'd be like, look, there's a yeah. God out there. Okay, you send here. So that you know? you're good okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay, do you want to come to us? Okay. Right. So, yeah. If I am in a bad situation, yeah. I will start thinking, please, God, please, like, uh -huh. if there is a God out there, save me from this. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, but I'm not a Christian, but I'll still, I'll still think that, you know, I'll, I'll still... Mm. I think, so if yeah. they've got five minutes, yeah. they also want to make it. What should they do? Um, I think the whole point about going to heaven and hell, it's about not denying it's not denying God until your last breath. So as long as you kind of as long have as some sort alive, of yeah, as you, some, are, you have a chance. Yeah. Okay. As, some, as long as you have some sort of like moment, a lot of people right before they die, no matter if, even if they believe during like life and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. As long as they, while they while they die and they, they finally think, you know they, what? They are on three minutes now. Yeah. They've got three minutes left, <laughs> so they're waiting for you to tell them what they must do. Um, just pray. Just pray. Okay. How did how did they pray? What, what, how did you pray? What did you do? Uh, I think I just. You I just say you know, because this is life and yeah. this is eternity. Heaven, and it, like, I you know. can't be thinking, man. You have to know. You have to know. <laughs> I know. I know in my mind that a God, no matter what they, no matter what happens to me, will be there to protect me. What you mean it in the half? Just accept him. Just accept God. Accept. Say. Say to him. Keep me safe. Keep me bring me somewhere better i don't want to i don't want to be down in hell where i'm gonna burn um okay. just say like i want to live my life well yeah okay i'm so, gonna end it well uh, i'll put it back to him before i give you my thoughts right. and uh is that what the bible says or that's what you think or maybe a mix of i know i know that it says in the bible mm -hmm. that um the 
most unforgivable sin is denying God until death, okay. until you die. Um, so I think that's what I believe. That's what I, that's what I know in my, in my head, right. really. Okay, so uh, let me help you. The Bible says, unless you repent, you will perish. Right. You must repent. Mm. What does that mean? What does that mean? To repent Ask for forgiveness. All right. is to change the way you think. To repent yes. is to change the way you think. Yes. For example, uh, before I came to God, I loved to not, but I loved to watch porn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I used to watch yeah. porn, and I knew that this is sin. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. So, <laughs> so when I repented to start following Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Because when you repent, you need to start a new journey. This right. time you are not following Jesus. So to repent is like you are going this direction. Right. Then you see that oh where I'm going, I'm going to fall in a <laughs> pit. If I continue this way, I will perish. Then you make a complete turn complete and start going the yeah. opposite. So a complete one eight ten, but this time you are now following Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because it's the perfect example. So a Christian is one who has a personal relationship with Jesus. Right. First, they must repent. Yeah. Yeah. So you can confess, oh Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. I've lived in my life without you. I've done my own things, but I believe that you came to die on the cross for my sins. Right. Because our Christian faith hinges on the cross god coming on earth himself to die for our sins because jesus is god yeah if you read in the book of titus it says our god who has bought us by his own blood he says uh, look after the church which he purchased by his own blood so jesus shed his own blood you celebrate christmas right but do you know why we celebrate Christmas? That's because of, that's cause of because Jesus. Of Jesus. I know that. It's all pointing to Jesus. Yeah. Now, a lot of people die and they go to hell, yet their sins have been dealt with on the cross because they've not repented. Right. Yeah. Now, signs or uh, things that can show that someone has repented, they change the way they used to live. Hmm. So if I used to love watching porn, I, yeah. anytime I see anything to want to drag into porn, I run away from it. Hmm. It's like the devil trying to say, hey. So, as we, uh -huh. so let's you say you follow Jesus' like, footsteps, yeah? Yeah. Is you it, must keep your eyes Do the 180. On. So you have to follow every rule. No. He's got one rule. Right. Because he's holy. He says, be holy. So yeah. the, the, the commandment of Jesus is one. Which one? Love. Love, yeah. Love. Yeah? L-O-V-E. Love. 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 Yeah. Because when you love, you will not lie, want to lie to your neighbor. Because I would never would lie to you. Because I would, I would never lie to you if, if they lie to you. Love is patience. Mm. Yeah. Love is kindness. Love is self-control. Love is joy. Yeah. Peace. Humility. That's, it's not boastful. That's not have pride. Okay. Love, I mean, you can talk about love until tomorrow. So when you're following Jesus, who is love? Because he came to die for our sin. Yeah. That's a, a Christian life. Yeah. Would you, when are you going to repent? I mean, I like to love, you know, I like to spread the love. Uh -huh. So, but in, in ways that maybe Jesus wouldn't like. Okay. So, you know, if, if Jesus is saying, I'm the owner of heaven. Yeah. No one comes except through me. Yeah. There's no other way. Yeah. Anyone who repent and follow me, you carry your, your cross daily. Sometimes it's difficult, but you must keep following Jesus. If you say, I don't want to follow Jesus, but I just want to be good. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you have a chance? Yeah, I, I do. I actually do. You think so? Yeah. If Jesus is saying there is no other way to enter this heaven, I'm the way, I'm the truth, but Jesus I'm the is, life. is forgiven, no? Yeah, I mean, he forgives you. Yeah. But why would you not want to commit your life to him? Hmm. Where you live for him? Yeah. Because, 
Okay. There's stuff. There's stuff. You know. There's there's stuff in the world that it's tempting. You know. But okay. that's the problem. That's so, that's I know. So, yeah. so we have got two kingdoms, a light and darkness. Yeah. Uh, angels and demons. Yeah. So on your shoulder. Jesus says, "Keep your eyes on me." Yeah. And you make it. Yeah. The devil is coming and he say, "No, no, 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 no. Come, let's play." But do you want to enjoy for a season? Because we are here on earth maybe for 100 years. Yeah. And eternity does not end. Would you want to compromise your eternity for just 100 years? And uh, what exactly do you want to do that if you follow Jesus, you say, ah, I'll be missing this. Jesus saying, come and live in love. Yeah. What exactly do you want to do outside love that you would be like, no, I can't apply, I can't follow Jesus? Just stuff, like, like, little example. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to be revising for English, <laughs> yeah, because I failed uh, the first time. Okay. But it was either revise or play FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> and I played FIFA. Uh -huh. But okay. I, I know that's the wrong thing to do because it, it, it feels like the wrong thing to do, you know? So it's right or wrong. And I feel like I pick wrong sometimes. Okay. But I know it's wrong. Okay. So, in your way, are you saying maybe following Jesus is boring? Like there are some things that you consider is fun? That yeah. You, okay. What yeah. do you think? Uh, like, you give me, for example, one or two things that you think Jesus would say, don't do this. Stuff like, like I like risk, you know? Okay. Like, what kind of risk? Like, I went skydiving. Uh, Jesus does not say skydiving is wrong. You can go skydiving with Jesus. There's no problem with that. I uh, like sex. Uh, if you want sex, you can get married. Because but I'm too young. You, you wait until... I can't, I can't wait for that. You can't wait for that? I can't wait for that. Okay, so I would say... He said earlier on, as long as you are alive, yeah. you have a chance to be saved. Yeah. If you love sex, which, uh, if you have exper uh, done an experiment, you, you know, and you say, now I can't stop. Right. If you invite Jesus in your life, yeah, his spirit will help you overcome that age. Yeah. I myself, he delivered me from watching porn. Now I don't watch. Hmm. You know, I had my, my, a personal encounter in 2003. 2003. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And... My life has never been the same. Yeah. I have yeah. peace. Yeah, I have peace. joy. Now, yes, I'm happily married. But for you, uh, I want you to know that whatever addiction you might have, uh, you, you have, when Jesus comes into your life, he gives you what we call the Holy Spirit. His right. Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God himself. And his Spirit will help you. Yeah. Is it making sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. if one is, God, is filled with the Spirit of God, it's like, let's say you are, you are driving and you are approaching the traffic light. Yeah. It goes sometimes amber before it goes red. So the Holy Spirit will, will, will be like giving you guidance, like where you're about to go. Stop. Yeah, yeah. They don't go that far. Yeah, yeah. It always be like you. a little voice in my yeah. head. Yeah. So when you're on your own, obviously, you are just going to be everywhere and you're going to be doing other stuff. Yeah. Now, people like me, we share the good news. Yeah. I don't want to talk about hell. I love to talk about heaven. Yeah. Because the Bible says, go and preach good news. Yeah. If I talk about hell, I believe you will stop sleeping around. You know why? Because it's... I will scare you so much yeah. that you... Uh, but I don't want to scare you into heaven. I'm not sleeping around. No, no. Like, I'll have a girlfriend. Okay. So, 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 <laughs> no, sorry, not, not sleeping around. But, sorry, so not, not, not sleeping around. <laughs> But uh, to to be in that intimate relationship yeah. with your girl. But I don't want to do that. I must share the good news because you have a free will. Yeah. So that if you choose to say, I want to follow Jesus, it's a personal choice. Everyone, we, we must not be forced. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So you can process that, think about it. But uh, should you want to invite Jesus? Uh... Okay, apart from that, uh, if it wasn't for the sex, were yeah. you going to start following him today? There's other things, you other know? Thing? It's other, yeah, there's other things going okay. on, you know? Like... Skydiving, I say, tick. 
okay, mm -hmm. like vaping. Vaping, smoking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a Bible verse which says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. You've heard that? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you should not defile it because it also causes you someone to be sick. Yeah. You know. Okay. Now, in short, when Jesus wants all of us to come as we are, yeah. So you, you say you've got a girlfriend. Jesus say, "Come as you are. I will make you as pure as snow." Right. His Holy Spirit will help you. It's not you doing it on your own. God will help you until you become what He wants you to be. So I would say, come to Jesus right now, with all your shortcomings. Yeah. With all your troubles. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the more you read the Bible, the Word of God, the more you will grow. And yeah. as you grow, change will take place. Yeah. M maybe for today, uh, I will say, we'll leave it here. Maybe we can okay. have a part two some uh, other uh, time. All uh, right, yeah. yeah. And uh, any question for me? No. No question? No. Yeah. No? Can I share my YouTube channel? Yeah, you can. Uh, you've got a YouTube channel, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, subscribe friends. to Sam Carter Productions. Yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> yes. Sam Carter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you wanna spell it out? Uh, S A M C A R T E R and then production. Okay, and uh, what do you do on it? Uh, live streams now, uh, but also like skits and stuff like that. Okay, okay. I will also check it out and if you subscribe to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay, we leave it for here today. And uh, Elijah, nice talking to you. Any question for me? No, no. I think no. I think you said it. I think you said it well. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, I we, I pray that you. I will see this in heaven. As for you, uh, I pray that you have repented. You repented, or because when you when we in say, between, I'm I'm get I'm 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 I am. There's a couple yeah. of stuff. Because speaking with you, when yeah. you say I believe that my grandpa went somewhere nice. It's like you are doubting. Yeah. Either you believe or you don't believe. Because it's not a matter of like, I, be, I think. Yeah. You know. So I would say, consider to repent. Yeah. Put full trust in who is Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Is he, Jesus, the one who has paid for my sins? You, you need to know and you need to believe. Otherwise, you, you, could, you could be just be a religious person. Yeah. You know, you die and God says, I, uh, who are you? Mm. I don't know you. You shouldn't be like that. No. Yeah. But guys, nice talking to you. Is it okay if I pray for you? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, Heavenly Father, I pray for these three. These are your children. Lord, I pray that you give them understanding so that every time they look into the scriptures, they, they understand. Give them understanding. Give them wisdom. And may they have a personal encounter with you. Each and every one of them, Lord, a personal encounter. Lord, I pray that you guide them. And I pray for the salvation of their souls so that they will make it. I pray that you lead them in a good Bible believing church where they will meet hungry people, people who are hungry for the things of God so that they have many questions answered. And use them, Father, in our lifetime. Use them for your glory the purpose and what you had in mind before they were born. Lord, I pray that it will happen in their lives. We want to celebrate with them as they fulfill their good given assignments. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I also pray, Father, for good health. I pray that you guide them even in the school, uh, cause them to pass. May they know and see that God is on their side and you are doing something uh, so that they could testify to say, if it wasn't for Jesus, we would not have made it. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray God will lead you in a good church. Uh, do you go to church? Uh, nah. you, you, you don't go. Do you go to church? No. I have been. You have been? I have been. Okay. And uh, yeah. can you imagine uh, if you are married yeah. and uh, your wife comes home once in six months and she, then she goes, she doesn't want you to know where she's been. Do you think that relationship will work? No. Can you imagine God seeing you come once, then you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not too good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like going to Tesco, you know, because yeah. I need some milk. As soon as I get my milk, push it, that trolley, push it, and you go home. 
until I need another container of milk. That's when, oh, Tesco. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're in a personal relationship, God has a heart. There yeah. are things he wants to do. There are things he wants to partner with you. He created, staring into my he, soul, man. He, he created <laughs> you for a purpose. Yeah. No, because you are unique. You are different. In your Cheers. own way. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. People Cheers. can write you off. People can say bad things. But in the eyes of God, different. You know. Yeah. There is so much that God has invested in you that he wants to bring out. You can die without him. You can also come to a place where you are like, God, I do, I, I'm, I'm confused about this. I don't know who I am. Just like if you buy a mobile phone and it's not working, what do you do? You ah. take it back to Samsung. Hey, your phone, according to the manual, it should work like this. It's not working. You've got two phones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. do you understand? So, yeah. for you, you can also pray, God, what is my purpose? Yeah. Why am I alive? What did you do in mind before I came on this earth? At least you are busy in the wrong thing. Many people are busy in the wrong thing. That's why your life is boring. But yeah. if you know why you are on earth for, just like Messi, yeah. he's good on football. Yeah. So, <laughs> being, Let's make it to song. Now, he, he's paid for what he loves doing. Yeah. Can you imagine your hobby is what you've been called for and you are doing that and you are getting paid millions. Many of us, we are in the wrong job. That's why I complain about ah, this job. But we never take time to say, hey, when you designed me, God, what did you in mind? Who am I? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you get to know who you are, life is sweet. Yeah. So you can only know who you are and your purpose when you go back to your maker. So if you continue without your maker on PlayStation, all these things, the devil will bring PlayStation 6, PlayStation 7, <laughs> and you continue being busy in the wrong yeah, thing, you know? new FIFA. Yeah, just bought a new FIFA, yeah? yeah? After six months, a new FIFA is coming, another FIFA is coming. So you continue pursuing the wind. Where it's coming from, where it's going, you don't know. Anyway, I hope I've been a blessing. Uh, and it's not finished. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Cheers. nice talking to you guys. Yeah? Cheers, mate. Blessings, blessings. What's and your YouTube channel? Oh, can I stop this? Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give. 